What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Internationally renowned and worldwide syndicated. Because you know what? Do you know who I am? Oh, yeah. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Your anti hero hero. You know what? I, I, I draw a lot of, you know, lovers, and I draw a lot of haters. You know why? Because I do compelling, riveting, thought-provoking videos like no other YouTuber. I'm not some cookie-cutter YouTuber. And here I am today, Monday morning. So what am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm looking at my videos, right? And yesterday I talked about opportunities, right? Coinex, rich net funds, Botfinity. So I figure, you know what? I'm going to introduce Monday today about platforms in general. So let's take a look at uh, the last release of yesterday's video here. Let's go here. And I'm going to play it, obviously, yeah. So, let's take a look here. Boom, all right? So, we drop down. And I want to cover a little bit of everything once again. So, real quick. High yield platforms. I mentioned yesterday that I'm going to slow it down. I'm tapping the brakes a little bit. I'm going to slow down on it. I'm not going to quit it, obviously, because hypes are hypes. I love hypes. But I'm going to slow down on it, not be as aggressive, and, and be a little bit more, I guess say, pickier about things. Slow it down so whatever happens with these happens, right? And then I'm going to just kind of slow down a little bit more um, with these things, all right? And then until they look like they're starting to get around, come around again, get better, looks like they might last a little bit longer than they've been lately, then, you know what, that's when we'll, uh, you know, pick things back up again. But, of course, I'm never going to quit. I can't quit hypes. I love them. And then yesterday... You know, if you want to talk about, let's talk about top platforms, right? So, you know, these are off. Um, so I talked about these. And I talked about the opportunities in the mid-level space with CoinEx and RichNet funds, right? In my last video yesterday. And the growth of CoinEx in, in terms of being pretty much the top mid-level platform right now out there. RichNet funds is right behind it. But there's really nothing else out there. I mean, there's like Torexo, but it's a token thing, and I don't, I don't care for it. Hyper fun. Uh, it's like a mid-level platform, too, but I don't care for it because, again, you got to deal with a token to it where these are just crypto in, crypto out. And then you throw Botfinity into the mix, and it's going to draw a lot of um, you know comparisons to the other one that recently just kind of... I don't know what's going on with them, to be honest with you. It's kind of a weird situation over there on that end. But this one seems to be a better way about things, better opportunity. And so that's why I figured, you know what? I'm going to give this one a shot. And this one, you know, like I said, it's not trying to blow the covers off of anything. You know, they're just, they have a limit to how much they want in, the limited amount of people. So that means a limited amount of spaces, whoops, right? So, whoops, clicked on it by accident. So to me, I, I just think it's a little bit better opportunity versus the other one, right? Where they're just saying, oh, you have a 3X club, all this other stuff, right? But that's a whole different side story. We could do a side-by-side -side down the road. But again, I'm just saying to you guys with this one, you can just watch me and, you know, watch. And if it's something that you think, okay, you know what, this is better, then cool. And if you don't, then hey, that's all good. No worries about it at all. But there it is, right? So that's why I put this here. And then when we keep going up, right, what are some other great opportunities right now? Tron case, right? I talked about Tron case the other day as well, uh, about the opportunity in Tron case. Let me see if I can find that here. By the way, check this out here. Now, if you're looking for some other side entertainment one hour of the muscle cast you know uh you know exclusive content you know one of those things where 
It's a uh, expanded format, uncensored, all that good stuff. Like I said, it's one of those ones where it's a humbling type of video. You know, you gotta be humble. You know, oops. And so that's the ETH price, old ETH price. I just keep on tapping on things because I'm looking for a uh, Tron case here, and I can't seem to find it. Oh, there it is, Tron case. So this is a great opportunity. You want to do something with your Tron. This is the place to put it in right now. This thing is just continues to blow up on and on fire. Um, it, it, it's interesting how they put different sort of triggers into this deal where if it hits a certain number, then it adds a certain amount of percentage more to your daily earnings. And so I've shown you guys the other day where it's at now. It's it's earning more and more than ever. And I just left. I just leave it by just letting it sit there. And as it sits there more and more, I'm gonna. I'm getting ready to break even pretty soon on my little bit of deposit I put in. And then, no, oh, I'm just gonna let it ride till whatever, right? Until oblivion. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Tron case, but it's a great opportunity, right? So when you look at things, for example, these mid-level platforms here, great opportunities, right? Botfinity, potentially great opportunity, but again, I, I just say, if you feel like, oh, you know, some kind of way about what happened with the other bot, right, then watch and see what happens with me, and then if I get screwed, then I get screwed. If I don't, I don't, right? That's what I'm showing you. I just want to show you guys that this is different. All right, so, and then we move, like I said, we moved on. Tron case, that, this got to be the best Tron dap there is out there, bar none. All right, so you look at that, and then um, you can say what you're going to say about bit velocity, Daisy, right? Those are off to the side, right? So looking at all right. So if you want to go uh, backwards in order, we'll just put these two as number five as mid-level platforms, you know. And then Tron case, I'll put that at number four. All right now, let's put that at number three. Botfinity number four. Tron case number three. Right, and um, the potential is there. We'll put Tron Case and Omega Digital as a potential opportunity. Again, this is not even like fully launched yet, and it's an interesting way they go about things here. At least their money is going into trading, right? Even if it's the only half of it, at least it's going into trading. They're doing something with it, right? You know, that's something that Daisy's been doing. But to me, Omega Digital seems to be the better way to grow that Bitcoin uh, in terms of how they go about trading it and all that stuff. Uh, it, I don't, it just seems like there's more to it. And it seems to be a better way to go about things than Bitlocity's been doing, right? And then we just keep it going, right? What else can go towards the top? Well, that leaves the legacy style platforms, right? I haven't talked about Shine XL much. I'll have a big update on that real soon. What they've been doing is updating their back office and kind of doing some things to where it's going to be uh, even better than when it first kind of came out, right? And that's how Cash of X was, right? It was kind of a, a you know, a, I don't know how you call it, unrefined platform right cash effects when it first first started and then it kind of you know worked its way bits and pieces till launch time when it got it together to say that we're going to put out the best there is to this platform and go from there and that's what shine xl is doing right now. they're taking steps kind of doing what cash effects was doing back then and um at least the pe there's people behind it that's uh, you know, real CEO, you know, at least they're there, right? And so, you know, there's not some fake actors or anything like that. So that's what we got with Shine XL. Faturian, I'm going to do an update video today about Faturian. And there's a potential in this thing. You know, it kind of runs along the lines of the cash effects, the PGIs, the um, crypto future, the Cuba life. It, it, it all in that line of that. There's people behind it. Uh, the opportunity is there. This one just kicked off. What about a week? 
two weeks ago now. So this one, and in pre-launch though, by the way, this is just a kickoff of pre-launch. So there's an opportunity there, right? Couldn't this go run as a legacy? Possibly, but you know, only time will tell, right? It's a matter of, you know, people's interest and how far this thing can go. And of course, the number one leading platform that leads the space along the way. All right, so let me uh, show you some. Let me see here. I kind of got off here. So here's a mega digital where I talked about it. The Bitcoin thing, right? Um, Fachirian. Here's Fachirian. The potential is there. He's main guy behind it here. A lot of potential with this thing. Um, just by the way it's set up, the opportunity that comes, and how this thing can possibly go. So, and of course, the number one leading platform right here. Let me go here, Crypto Future, right? This is the place to be. This is like no other. And I'm going to do an update video on this after this one. <laughs> so, I'll probably do Futurian first, and then, of course, Crypto Future after that. But yeah, so these are the great opportunities that are presently happening right now. Cuba Life is probably going to fade off in the sunset soon after their token release coming out. Um, I don't know. It's been, you hear two different sides of argument with cash effects. Oh, they're paying. Oh, they're not paying. Oh, they're this, that, this. PGI is PGI. They're, they keep giving the run around on things. And so, um, nothing really new to report on PGI except that, you know, they'll, they say one thing and then they flip the script and do something else. It's like they just keep giving a run around and run around and run around and again. So, I'm just like, alright, well, we're just going to keep it moving. Right? So, Crypto Future. Fichurian, right? This has a lot of great potential to this. And, uh, let's see here. Shine XL, right? Still around, still in pre-launch too, by the way. So got that going on. What else did I tell you? Yeah, I talked about Omega Digital, right? Omega Digital. This right here, it's about growing that Bitcoin in a, in a better way than Belasi's done, and I think in a better way than potentially Daisy, right? Daisy's going to tokenize itself real soon, so. You have those, right? And then when you look at it, let's go look at here, right? The potential. Let me see here if it'll let me load. You got rich net funds. This is towards the, the bottom end of my top platforms, right? So let's see here. Rich net funds. This is like a slow earner, mid level platform, right? You know, 2% daily for 80 days. Right, this is what this is. Um, Coinex is probably the top mid level platform in the space right now. And you know, what I like about it is the, the revolving daily plans. Right, this thing revolves daily, there's always going to be something different on this on how the plans are. Let's see here. So, this is the current plans right now. 5.9% daily for 23 days. So you're netting 35% after 23 days. That's pretty damn good. And then 111% after 12 days. So no, you're not making 111. It's actually, you're making your first 100% back and you're netting just 11% on 12 days. So it's, to me, it's sustainable sort of earnings. It's not too crazy. That's why... It's a great mid-level platform, right? And of course, I talked about Botfinity. So we're in a great place and a great space right now, right? With all these platforms of opportunities, right? And it's a matter of, you're going to sit there and watch? Or are you going to seize these opportunities? And that's what it's about. And what's great about a lot of these platforms, they're still in pre-launch. That means these pre-launch times are early earnings opportunities to capitalize on so it's just food for thought you know something to think about something to do your research on all that good stuff so what i gotta say is other than that comment down below let me know what you think 
and onwards. We're going to be talking about crypto future and futuring. I'll see you in the next.